Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use expression controls in Adobe After Effects. So what exactly are expression controls? They allow us to control certain elements of our composition from one single location. So for example, over here, I've added the angle control, which is right here, the color control, and then the slider control to this. And with the angle control, I can control the rotation like so. With the color, I can control the tint of the object like so. And then with the slider, I can control how heavy that tint is. So all of these effects, which are all within our uh, footage here in the effects tab and also in the transform tab are now linked to these controllers. So I never have to actually touch this piece of footage again. I can just go straight to its controller and sort of manipulate it all from right there. And so that's what we're going to be learning how to create. It's actually pretty simple to do and it's really fun to be able to build your own control panels to affect things um, really simply and quickly. So let's go ahead and get started by just deleting everything out of our composition right here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in some new text right here. We'll type in... Um, this is some new text, simple and to the point, like so. And then now what I'm going to do is I want to create myself a null object. So I can go up to layer, new, and then null, or I can right click in the empty space and go new null as well. So I'm just going to create myself a null object right here, null two. We can name it something different. Let's give it like a control panel, like so. And so now that we have the control panel able to be sort of moved. Basically what all this is, is it's a object that is null, so it has no properties, values, or anything like that. And that's good for what we want to do, because that means it's not going to ever be rendered in our scene, but we can attach effects to it and stuff like that. So what I want to do is I want to be able to control the, um, the size of this text as well as the color and the animation of the text. And let's go ahead and just do something really quick. Let's grab the anchor and let's put it in the center right here. Um, this is so when I affect the size, it's going to scale from that instead of down. To do that, all you got to do is go up to this pan behind tool, and we're going to grab the anchor point, which is just this like crosshair. And we're just going to stick it somewhere near the center. This, like I said, just going to help us a little bit later on. Anyway, let's get back to it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to control the color of this text. Now you'll notice inside of the text here, there isn't actually like a place that I can grab the color from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my effects over here and I'm going to look for an effect called tint. And we're going to like do a little work around right here. So if we go in here and we grab ourselves tint and we drag and drop that onto our text, you'll notice that one of these says map the white to. So if our text starts out at white, that means now if I move this this around, it's going to map whatever that white is to whatever color I want. So that's how I'm going to be able to affect the text from down here. I could, oh, you know, always highlight this and change it over here. But what I want is a con be able to use it in a control. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the tint, and then I'll explain why that's important a little bit more in just a second. So we've added the tint to this, and now we're going to go over here, and we're going to look for those effect or expression controls. And let's go ahead and grab this color control and drag it onto our control panel right here. So now we have this, this control panel with a color thing, but if we touch this and move this, it isn't doing anything. It hasn't been linked up yet. So now we're gonna go into our text, drop this down, and there's nothing we can grab in the, the text for the color, so we're not gonna go there. We can't grab anything in the transform for color either, so we're not gonna go there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our effects, we're gonna go to our tint, and then down to that map to white. This is something that we can control that will change the color of this text. So now I'm going to go ahead and hold the Alt key and click on this stopwatch. You can see that right there it says uh, in the little highlight there, Alt, click, add, or remove expression. Once we click that, it's going to add this, this expression over here. And if you know JavaScript and sort of know how to code in After Effects, you can put your, your code right here. But we're not going to be doing any of that in these tutorials. What we're going to just be using is the whip tool here. I believe this one is still called, yeah, the expression pick whip. We're going to grab this, and we're going to move this map to white up. So let's go ahead and select our control panel so we can see the control color. Grab the pick whip right here and drop it on this color. And what we basically did there is we told it, and it's just putting this in here for us, it's putting the code in there for us. It's saying that whatever this color is changed to, change this color to that as well. And so now whenever I change the color, it's going to to change the color of the text as well. And I can change it to any color I want. And now I have control over it. And you see whenever I stop moving here, it updates down here. So we've just linked these two elements together. And now I never have to touch the tint effect down here again. It's now in my control panel and I can just sort of basically do whatever I want with it. And then the next thing we want to control is we want to control the 
ability to maybe like the size, a transform of this. So what we're gonna do is we are going to grab ourselves a, let's go with a slider control right here. And we're gonna put the slider control right into here. And then now let's go down and back into our text and let's look for something that might affect the size here. So we have a scale right here. And that sounds like something that would affect the size. And we have this slider control up here. I'm gonna lock this into place so it doesn't keep disappearing. If you click the lock button now, you'll see that it always stays there. So we're gonna lock this into place. Um, and you'll see that now I have a slider here and this is sort of a slider right here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold the Alt key. I'm gonna click on this again, grab that pick whip and drag it up to this slider right here. And now whatever I control, the size will go with it. So you can see that it's just like the percentage here. It's 54%. If I go up to uh, 215, it goes to 215%. If I go into the negatives, it goes into the negative. So now this controls our, our, um, our size, our scale right here as well. And then the final thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to control some of the motion in here. So to do that, what I can do is I can go ahead and grab a 3D point um, control here. And then I can go down into the transform just like we've been doing. And we're gonna go to the position right here. We're gonna hold the Alt key. And we're going to pick whip that up to the 3D point up here as well. And now you'll see that whenever I move this stuff around, it's going to go ahead and move the position around as well. So now from this control panel, now we can sort of not touch this anymore. From this control panel up here, we have the ability to change where the text moves. We have the ability to change its scale and we have the ability to change its color. So we can actually create an animation without ever touching the text tool again because it's all linked through these expression controls. So now let's go to the side here. Let's say that we want it to start from maybe like, maybe right down here. So we're gonna go here. Let's uh, turn on the animation keyframes for all of these. Move forward. Uh, let's make the, the size here go to zero. And then move forward maybe 15 or so. Frames, just move it over like that. Oh, that was a lot more than 15. Maybe we're like right there. Bring this back up to 100. And then move this to the right over like so. And let's change its color while it does that as well. Let's go to maybe like red. And now you see that we have created this animation without ever touching the text tool because we're using our expression tools. And you can, this is, you know, just the very basics of the expression tools. There's a couple other things in here like a checkbox where whenever you check it, it'll check something down here and move stuff around. Um, and actually, whenever you have it selected, you can kind of see that some of the more options pop up down here. But you have a lot of options whenever you um, affect this sort of stuff and you have the ability to build like i said these control panels to affect like maybe the size the shape the style of your animations throughout it so you don't have to keep going and finding every single like you know this could this could affect multiple different ones at the same time so this could be the the um 3d point on one object while this is the size on another object and this is the color on a third object so instead of having to go to each one of those and animate them independently we bring them all into a control panel with our expression controls and we can just do whatever we want to them up here without having to go back down in the timeline but that is basically it on expression controls that's the basics of it it's a really fun thing to do really really neat and sort of just allows you to keep editing faster and to you know, make your life easier. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that su subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.